hello welcome to uh, Hitchhiker Gaming uh, I want to talk to you today about Nvidia Shadowplay I've been uh, checking out various recording software because I was interested in uploading some stuff to YouTube so I'm checking out all the different options and I did come across Nvidia Shadowplay which uh, looked to be really good looked to be really good I played around with it and came across one big problem the it appeared you could only actually record with the webcam overlay if you were live broadcasting to sort of like Twitch. You couldn't do it if you wanted to do a you know a local recording which you later edited and uploaded to YouTube, which I found a bit strange. But uh, try and tried and tried to get it to work, just couldn't get it to work. So uh, checked uh, checked out the details on Google couldn't really find uh, a great deal of information about it except people with the same kind of problem saying this would would be great if you could only do the the local recording anyway uh, I came across a post somewhere that mentioned it might now be possible with a beta the beta version of this driver so I downloaded it and tried it and I'm very pleased to say that it does work I tried and tried and tried to get it working but uh, if I can explain the problem I'm having was I was switching my webcam on and then switching the recording software on um, and it just it just wouldn't work but it seems I was going about it wrong I've since found out that uh, you leave your, your webcam you don't switch your webcam on manually what happens is when you've got it installed the Nvidia actually switches it on for you and then puts it up in the game or on your desktop as you can see now so that's one thing to remember is leave your webcam switched off and let it let the nvidia driver switch it on for you that's where i ran into a lot of problems and uh, now i said found it works it's great because it's like an all-in-one solution it records the audio records the video all into one file very good easy to edit so uh, I'm just going to give you uh, a little demo or show you how it works. So here we go. So we've got the uh, NVIDIA GeForce Experience Beta drivers, as you can see there. Um, let's have a look and see what it says for the actual driver. The driver that I'm currently using is 358.50. Now, I'm not sure if that's the same thing or not. I think, I think it is. But uh, if you just search online for NVIDIA GeForce Experience beta drivers, get that installed. You'll see over here, it's no longer called um, Shadow Play as it was before. It's called Share now. Not sure why they've changed it, but it's, it's now called, just called Share. Uh, I'll just click on this for you. When you press Alt-Z in a game, you get this overlay that comes up over the game. You've got an option for instant replay. You can I can't show you because I'm uh, live at the moment. It won't let me go into it to customize it. But in there, it gives you all sorts of different options of, uh, you know, do you want to record the last five minutes that you played, the sort of screen resolution, the bit rate, that kind of thing. Same with recording. You can customize. Do you want to, you know, the screen resolution, the bit rate, that kind of thing. You can set it up for, uh, let me see if we can, we can go into that. No, we can't. It won't. We have to stop recording to change anything. You can turn the camera on off, the mic on and off. You've also got the gallery, which is where basically it saves everything as a default. Okay. So that's the overlay that comes up when you're actually in a game. Now, what I can also show you, if I can uh, look in the right place. With me one second while I remember where we're looking. There we go. So we've also got, uh, let me maximize this. We've got the preferences. In the preferences, you can set up your own keyboard shortcuts, as you can see there. For in, when you're in game, you can save the last five minutes. You can actually change that to say the last 10. It's 15, 20 minutes of a game, depending on your own preferences. 
you've also got on off broadcast on off pausing you can do push to talk which is some people really like that you can toggle the fps counter on and off and you can open share to redo your settings i've actually changed some of the default ones in here which is handy that you can do that as well because it was in four like four i was pressing alt <laughs> instead of uh turning the camera on off i was throwing a grenade so uh it's great that you can change those you can always uh the broadcast options you can now go to twitch and youtube so you can broadcast live to twitch live to youtube you can get it to always ask you you've got obviously where you save your files and everything up here you've got where you want your camera to be so there i've got mine set as you can see to the top left hand corner but you can set it to top right bottom right bottom left you can turn the camera on and off if you want to just uh, record your voice and not an actual camera screen status indicator you can set that wherever you want as well that just shows you a little icon that you're actually recording live the fps counter i've got mine set up at the top there currently but again you can put that wherever you want and the rig details that's just uh, a little thing that comes up in the corner there wherever you put it showing you what your processor is what your graphics card is if you want people to see that and then you've got three different settings for the actual camera size and the overlay as you can see i've got mine on medium at the moment a big pick is very big you don't want to see my face that big <laughs> okay so that's pretty much it now so as i said I can confirm that it, it does work for doing a live recording or a, a recording, not live, but a, a recording to the local hard drive, which you can then edit. It does record the camera overlay, as you can see. It does record the audio all into one file. Really, really impressed with it. Really like it. Uh, now I've got it set up correctly. It seems to work flawlessly, even though it's a beta. So, uh, you know, give it a try, guys. See what you think. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video and you found it useful please like it please please subscribe uh, that would be fantastic because I'm a, a new channel and uh, I'd really like it if you guys would subscribe I'm planning to do lots and lots of uh, gaming videos all sorts of different things so again thank you very much for watching Hitchhiker Gaming and I'll speak to you guys again soon